beginning. All right, so oh, today we are going to be reading a story that I love, 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 love. It's called Mama Don't Allow. Um, and this book is written by someone named Thatcher Hurd. So I hope that you love it too. You're going to get a chance to answer some questions and we're going to talk about it as we go. So, Mama Don't Allow, starring Miles and the Swamp Band by Thatcher Hurd. You can see on their mailbox, it says, The Possums. Mama, Papa, and Miles in Swampville. Miles got a saxophone for his birthday. This is what a saxophone looks like. You maybe remember it from the story we read called Charlie Parker Plays Bebop. Wow, says Miles. Oh, how nice, says his mama. Look at them, they're, uh, they're possums. That's a type of animal. Squawk! Oh my goodness. Show me with your face. Do you think Miles is really good at playing the saxophone or do you think he's like not so good at playing the saxophone? Oh wow, I am scrolling through all of your little pictures and you are making some really, oh yeah. I agree, me too. I, I think you're right. He's not very good at playing the saxophone. And it looks like Mama and Papa agree. Mama says, oh, how awful. And Papa says, Keep it down, son. They didn't like it at all. So Miles practiced. Oh my gosh, he's in the bathtub. And practiced. Until his mama and papa couldn't stand it anymore. And his mama said, Why don't you practice outside, dear? Hmm. And so he did as loud as could be. What do you think? Do you think his neighbors are gonna like it or do you think they're gonna be annoyed? Oh, I'm seeing a lot of thumbs down. You think they're gonna be annoyed? Let's find out. Let's see what they say. Hmm, here's one neighbor. He says, ugh. And this one says, enough. And this one says, too loud. Urgh. What a racket. Terrible, unbearable, yuck, harumph, dreadful. Oh my gosh, you guys are right. His neighbors didn't like his saxophone playing much either. I guess he needs more practice. Miles strolled down Main Street where he met a drummer named Al. Up Swamp Lane where he met a guitarist named Bert. And over Bayou Bridge where he met a trumpet player named Doc. Hey, let's play some music, said Miles. Loud music, said Al. Let's be a band, said Bert. The Swamp Band, cried Doc. And they all played as loud as they could. Soon, the whole town cried out, Swamp Bands play in the... Swamp. Yeah, swamp bands play in the swamp. <laughs> I love how you guys knew when it was time to unmute and say something, and then most of you muted yourselves right away. Thank you for doing that, my loves. But down in the swamp. On the edge of town, the sharp teeth, long tailed, yellow eyed alligators said, What do you think they're going to say? Listening. Love you. Is my best teacher. 
Oh, thanks. Um, so I heard a lot of people say what they thought the alligators would say. Let's read the story and find out what happens. Everyone double check and make sure you're muted right now because we don't want any background noise in the story. Thank you, my loves. Let's find out what the alligator said. <gasps> we love that swamp band music. You do? Asked Al. We like it loud. Really? Come and play for the alligator ball. When? Saturday night after the sun goes down. Meet you at the riverboat. We'll be there, replied Mom. Someone's got their microphone on, please mute yourself so that we we can hear the story. I helped you out. Saturday night, when the sun went down, the alligators came from miles around. They were dressed in their finest. The swamp band played their favorite song. Mama don't allow no music playing around here. Mama don't allow no music playing around here. No, we don't care what Mama don't allow. Gonna play that music anyhow. Mama don't allow no music playing around here. Wow. And look at all the alligators. It looks like maybe they're dancing. They must be having a wonderful time. The swamp band played far into the night. When the music was over, the band was hungry. So were the alligators. What's for dinner? asked Miles. Something tender, something juicy, replied the alligators. What do you think is for dinner, boys and girls? Yum! macaroni and cheese, I heard string beans, I heard chicken, and I heard, please make sure you're muted, I heard them. Oh my goodness, those are some great guesses. Let's find out. The alligators snapped their jaws and smacked their lips and, oh my goodness, look. There's a big pot of soup. Oh no, look at poor Miles. Wait, he said right as they were about to put him in the giant pot of soup. How about one more song? Okay, but make it short, said one alligator. Make it sweet, asked for another. And so the swamp band sang one and two and a lullaby of swampland. When the moon is rising and the moss hangs low, when the swamp is quiet and the water moves slow, that's the time you sing softly and lay your head awfully far down in the gooey damp mud. What do you think is going to happen next, boys and girls? Remember that when you're done speaking, I think yourself so that other people can be heard. I think that they're just gonna listen to whatever the thing was singing and they're gonna let him go and not put him in the pot of soup. Oh, you think they're gonna like the music so much? Ooh. I think they're going to fly a Oh, maybe they're going to fall asleep. Why do you think they might fall asleep? Go ahead. They're going to fall asleep because
I think the gun fell asleep because it was a dream. Oh, you think the whole thing was a dream, the whole story? Maybe. Um, we'll take one more person. It's your turn to speak when no one else is speaking. I want to do. I want. I think they're going to They're going to fall asleep because they're so tired and they're going to be going to bed. Oh, so you think they're going to be really tired? Does anybody know what a lullaby is? I do. I do. I do. I know what a lullaby is. A lullaby is when. Can you even let me talk? Am I I do. Can you stay quiet? All right. Let's have one friend speak at a time. My turn. My, 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 me, me. Okay. Okay, so I think he's going to play a music is, he's going to play a music is Macaroni. That's what he's, that's the music. The question was, what is a lullaby? What is a lullaby? A lullaby, a lullaby is, um, okay, a lullaby is this. In my hand, look, I'm gonna show you. I got it. <laughs> That's not a lullaby, um, but that looks like a speck of dust. Um, but I see that Christine's raising her hand. Go ahead, Christine. Why don't you speak? A lullaby is something that's low, and someone sings it to someone, and they and they fall asleep. Yeah, it's something that we use to help babies fall asleep or just people in general, but we use them for babies a lot. Um, so a lot of you said that you thought they'd fall asleep either because they were tired or because they heard a lullaby. Um, and we're all muted now because we're going to turn the page and find out what actually happens. The alligators fell fast asleep. You guys were right. And Miles piloted the riverboat back to Swampland. The Swamp Band tiptoed home, playing that lullaby as quietly as they could. And Mama said, Oh, how nice. The end. <laughs>